Hi, I'm going to be talking today about the Chroma 66205 digital power meter and specifically the ability for it to measure harmonics. Chroma designed this unit to meet the IEC 61000-4-7 standard and that standard defines what the equipment capabilities must be when testing devices for IEC 61000-3-2. It's a nice small compact unit, has four big displays on the front. Each of the displays can be configured for different measurements. Has up to 22 different measurements that it can make, and it also has uh, all the interfaces for, uh, for GPIB, uh, Ethernet, uh, USB, and RS-232. It also has a nice little test fixture box here that you can see in the front. And that little box gives you a universal plug to make it easy to plug your unit into this power meter. Has seven ranges for voltage, 10 ranges for current. The extended ranges make it uh, very uh, useful when you're doing everything from uh, Energy Star, ERP uh, measurements, or just any measurement of a device all the way up to 18 kilowatts using the internal shunt, which is rated for 30 amps. Voltage range is 15 to 600 volts standard with a option to go up to 1200 volts. 10 current ranges down to 5 milliamps up to 30 amps using the internal shunt, but it has the ability to plug in an external current transformer or an external shunt that can take those measurements all the way up to 9,999 amps. 60 power ranges when using the internal shunt gives you ranges from 75 milliwatts up to 18 kilowatts. That range can be greatly extended if you're using the external current transformer or an external shunt. 22 measurements, like I mentioned before, including the harmonic measurements that we're going to talk about. This unit has 0.1% accuracy on most ranges, and it's designed to meet the IEC 61000-4-7 standard. This standard is specific for harmonic distortion voltage and current measurements up to the 50th harmonic, and it also includes degrees and uh, actual voltages or percentages. Extended measurements all the way up to 100th harmonic, and it measurements uh, are specifically capable of meeting the requirements of IEC 61000-3-2. It also, because of the extended uh, voltage and current ranges, is perfect for measuring energy star and ERP, low power ranges, standby power, and efficiencies. When we talk about the harmonic measurement, the IEC 61000-4-7 has a very unique and re requirement for how you uh, the method of measuring as well as the accuracy. Chroma has developed this particular unit to make sure that it meets all of those requirements. I've got a unit running behind me here and on that unit I have a, uh, a power meter in the center. I've got one of our small DC loads and uh, I've got a universal box to plug the unit into. And the, the, the unit under test is actually just a, a small switch mode power supply, uh, multiple output, and uh, it uh, does create some harmonic distortion on the input. The other thing about this particular power meter here is that I mentioned we use uh, multiple different interfaces. It comes with a standard USB uh, and has uh, Ethernet and GPIB options. We can also uh, interface it to our software uh, through your laptop or your PC. And I happen to have our software running. This is a, a live view of our software. And in this particular screen, uh, I'm measuring uh, six different uh, measurements across the top. Here you can see I'm measuring voltage, current, uh, true power, power factor, frequency, and, uh, and apparent power. But they can measure up to 22 different measurements, and this drop-down uh, button on the, each of these will allow you to select 
uh, any one of those 22 measurements to display it. But you can also record all this data to a text file, and you can record all 22 measurements simultaneously. From this screen, you can also do some range selections. You can also do uh, various uh, measurement display functions for averaging or for display rate. You can also do filtering uh, if uh, your measurement allows for filtering. Uh, we have the internal filter uh, for uh, 5,500 hertz. And we can also do sync voltage and sync current. Uh, this determines which measurement you're synchronized to when you're doing your measurements. Also has some test measurement capability for go, no go, and pass fail data. When we're measuring harmonic distortion, you can go to this screen and it's going to give you the numerical data that you can see here in the center. Again, it can all be recorded to a text file. You can test it per the IEC 61000-3-2 limits, and you can also set the different classifications for IEC 61000-3-2. Here I've got it set to class A. I'm showing the current graph, and the yellow the yellow lines you see here are the limits for IEC 61000-3-2, and the red uh, are the actual uh, measurements for each harmonic, each individual harmonic, and it shows how it, how it reflects uh, to the actual standard. And here you can see that both voltage and current are passing. This is a, a great tool, easy to use, uh, and uh, inexpensive as far as compared to some of the high-end uh, power analyzers that have similar features. So if you're in the need of a device to measure harmonic distortion, specifically for IEC 61000-3-2, uh, come and look at our Chroma 66205 power meter. Hope this is helpful. If you need more information, please contact us on our website and uh, we'll be happy to uh, give you more details and uh, set up a demonstration of our product if you need be. Thank you.